Whether you're just getting into jump rope or maybe it's been a couple of months and you just can't get past that double pump foot style of jump rope, getting bored, tired, and questioning if this is even the cardio that you want to be doing, then this video is for you. So my goal here is to help motivate you to learn the boxer skip immediately with these top reasons. Starting with number one, increased stamina. Now, I don't know about you, but when I do the double foot chump, it really tires out my calves and I can't go for nearly as long. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I can go for 20 minutes, 30 minutes and so on. And there's no way that I'd be able to do that if I was actually doing only the double pump. Aside from the fact that I would be extremely bored, my calves just can't handle it. And I understand that you probably don't realize this yet if you're not able to do the boxer skip, but through the motion of it and actually shifting your weight from one foot to another, I know it's a fraction of a second of a rest time that each calf gets, but it makes a massive difference and thus you're able to go for significantly longer periods of time, increasing not only your stamina, but your belief that you can actually do it for longer, thus you'll keep testing yourself. But there is another part here as to why the boxer skip helps to increase your stamina. It's the reality that it starts to force your body to do much lower jumps, to stay much lower to the ground, which then of course requires less force to get you off of the ground. This is gonna benefit your joints and it's gonna make it much easier to keep going for longer periods of time. Now the second reason you're going to want to learn the boxer skip is because this is definitely going to increase your coordination. You see, when you start getting the boxer skip down, this is going to improve your hand-foot coordination, if that's even a thing. It's got to be a thing. Hand-eye coordination, hand-foot coordination, yeah, for sure. This is basically where your brain is going to learn where the specific hand circling rotation meets the level of speed versus where your foot's actually going to lift off. And of course, the better that you get at doing this through practice and repetition, the lower that those jumps are also going to start becoming, which is something that I highly, highly encourage you guys to keep testing out, keep pumping it out, because the lower that you can get those jumps, just enough to basically clear the rope so that it doesn't clip your foot, the longer you'll be able to skip for and you're going to end up having a lot more fun with it, especially with all the doors this is going to open for you in terms of being able to learn fancier footwork and other techniques and tricks. And for the question of the day, how many skips can you roughly do or minutes if you're counting minutes before that rope clips your foot and you need to restart? Let me know in the comments and definitely drop a like on this video if of course you're appreciating it. Now, lesson number three, which is something I learned in about the second to third month in my skipping rope history, is that you start having more fun. And as a result of having more fun, you're going to be able to skip for longer periods of time. And this is going to then result in burning more calories. Now, I know that more fun being equal to more calories burned isn't an exact equation, but I can guarantee you that when you get the boxer skip down, you'll be less bored. You'll definitely do it more often. And the advancement that you'll experience into other techniques are going to bring a whole other layer of novelty, making you actually want to do this more. So when you have that extra layer of interest and fun involved in the exercise that you're doing, then the compound effect can go ahead and do its thing, especially with establishing an exercise habit, which, you know, it's generally difficult for most people to do this. And this, of course, is going to lead to helping you achieve the specific physique goals that you desire. Which brings me to the next question here. Why are you skipping rope in the first place? For me personally, it was a way to get really efficient. I already knew that I definitely didn't want to do most other forms of high intensity cardio. Frankly, I hate cardio. <laughs> More so high intensity stuff. And the thing is, maybe you're at this state where you don't know if this is going to help you achieve those specific results. But for me, I knew that I wanted something that was very high calorie burning that wouldn't require a ridiculous amount of time. Maybe I didn't have an hour or an hour and a half to go and get my 10k steps in. I know that I could burn the same amount of calories in about a quarter to a third of the time, and this makes a big difference for me. I like that idea of being efficient. I like that I don't have to go to the gym. I like that the piece of equipment is super affordable, and I can do it in the privacy of my own home. Of course, the biggest thing that I can't refute is that this really helped me on my journey to get lean. Back in 2018, when I first reached ab shredded 10% body fat. And I've got an expanding library of videos on this, along with a number of other videos to help you become your next level version of yourself. So if you appreciated this video, make sure to drop it a like, say hi in the comments if this is your first time here, and I'll see you in the next one, Warriors.